first of all, we've got our um, third and, and final innovator and um, entrepreneur of the afternoon, um, Steve Michael, the inventor of Grabber Rail. And I'll just play a quick video first, and then I will introduce Steve to you. My name is Steve Michael. I'm the owner of Senior Home Solutions and Grabber Rail. And I would like to introduce you to my innovative and life-saving invention, Grabber Rail. Grabber Rail, like all great products, began as a simple idea. The rail has been devised to help prevent falls in one of the most dangerous places within the home, the kitchen. 18% of falls among the over 65s occur in the kitchen. The impact of falls on the immediate family can be devastating. The cost to the NHS is over £400 million a year. The cost in human life is immeasurable. Steve, well, welcome to the webinar. Um, good, good, to see you. Good, good to meet you again. So t tell us a bit about where Grabberale came from and um, how you kind of came up with the idea and, and where you've been taking it. Okay, hi Paul, um, and uh, thank you for the invite to get on the webinar, and uh, hello everybody. Um, right, so the idea was, um, as I've been building for some years, I've been in construction for some years, and uh, I do shop fit into now uh, adapting homes for uh, to keep people safe. Um, while I was uh, doing some courses in uh, fall prevention, and some courses in Parkinson's, I'd started to look into where people fall in the homes and you could see that you can adapt for almost the whole of the home, uh, you know, the bathroom, stairs, as we've just seen. Um, also, you know, ramps getting out of the house and so on and so forth. But when it came to the kitchens, it seemed to be a, a bit of a, a dead spot. And um, I was uh, I was recently I'd been over at a, a Parkinson's UK meeting place and I'd spoken to some people there who told us that they had been prone to fall in kitchens and, and that had stopped them from actually using the kitchen. Uh, and then unfortunately, one day, one of my friend's fathers who had Parkinson's fell in the kitchen and um, and unfortunately we lost him. Um, and it started me to have a look at why or what could be done. And. I came up with a little idea and thought, well, we could actually drill through the worktop, but then that messes up the worktop. And then I started to put some drawings together and, and made a prototype um, of which we have now, which uh, is, the, is the grab rail, which you, you see. Um, it's a very simple design. It's a very simple idea, really, um, but very effective. Uh, we've been having it tested by uh, the University of Birmingham to, to, uh, for the strength and uh, we've also looked at the bariatrics uh, side of it to, to go beyond uh, 25 stone um, and uh, yes that was, that's where the idea came from. So um, how, how far kind of through the journey are you? Have you kind of fitted them in, in some kitchens now? Have you got so we've, we've fitted them in, in, a, in a few volunteered kitchens and, and we're waiting now to to uh, hear off them and see how, how it's worked for them. Um, so far, they're, they're very pleased. And, and again, because it's a retrofit, we can install and, and take it out with minimal damage. Um, and, and again, it, because of how, we've, how it's been designed, and made it's it's very it's it, it's not simple to fit because you you know you probably would need a, a kitchen fitter so idea but what we're looking at is is um putting in an, an instructional guide for somebody to be able to fit them um but what it still enables is people to be able to use their cupboards drawers and so on and so forth so yeah, because there's there's not not really that much to grab onto in in a kitchen, really, is a, a, well, a, a kind of door handle. <laughs> exactly, and and that's a comedy of errors in its own right. You know, people yeah. um, talking to lots of people when they say they 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 walk along and they touch the surface, but the surface is full of can be full of hot products. You know, it can be it can be full have cups on it. Can 
then and then if when people fall they tend to grab all the things they grab hold of the kettle they grab hold of something on a stove they grab hold of a sharp knife they they then fall and then they try to get back up and they grab a door handle which opens up <laughs> draw and you know and, it, and it, that's the that's how i was looking at what we could do to prevent all of that happening yep and and the the shape and the design of the rail is is what i came up with so so in, in terms of kind of finish um colors and um kind of choice so I've, I've been i've had a few ma uh, manufactured now and and we have looked at, you know it's, it's built in a a still uh it's a mild still um we're, we're looking at um about six to seven different colors um at this moment in time which i'm quite pleased to say i'm i'm in talks with um akw um of uh, about them doing a commercial deal with me to uh, manufacture so so part of that will go towards what their ideas are yeah um so which, which is which is great um and and enables us to get out to a broader and yeah. wider yeah. part of the country <laughs> across the country yeah. as i as i use all their products anyway when i'm doing wet rooms and so on, you know yeah so. and do, do i remember there, there's a slightly different rail for kind of by cookers and uh, or by hops so what what we what we do is um i've been talking to focus which i don't know whether focus is across the country um but focus is for the visual impaired based in birmingham um and we've been talking to them about texture coating uh so to have a texture coating finish which will enable people with a visual impairment to understand that they're by a sink or by by the cooker yeah um, the actual brackets um we can we are, are movable but only not move that we can actually make when the when the manufactured the made to a certain size that actually wraps around the the hub right you know what I mean? um and again now we, before we were just doing straight um uh, and now we're, we're, we've got a, a 90 degree uh curve which will do a u-shaped kitchen yeah, so, so it's it's, so, it's it's encompassing the whole kitchen. It's um, yeah, it's it's it, it sounds like it's it's going to be a really useful um, product. So so what's what's next, Steve? Is is it um, are you kind of looking for places to test it, or is it kind of well, mass market? We, or? I've had a, I've had um, quite a few made, and what I'm looking at is to I, I've contacted Parkinson's. Um, I'd like to speak to people if they're connected with uh, MS and uh, Age UK. But what we want to do is, is get 20 or so fitted into homes for free so we can get some feedback. And, and also, you know, if there's any um, local authorities that would be interested in talking to us about them. And, and, and again, you know, I, I think it was on the Q&A. &A. I'm not quite sure if the Q&A came to me. I'm not quite sure, but I answered it anyway because it was on the q and I thought, well, if that's one. But um, as I say, because we're talking to uh, different manufacturers or, or a large, you know, um, those answers, the cost of, of how they're being manufactured and, and how we get them and how they're fitted will change. So at least today, I'm not able to answer certain questions. Okay. Um, but what I have been also doing, which is quite exciting, is I've been working with um, a couple of physiotherapists, one who deals with uh, Parkinson's again, uh, for exercises, because we'd looked at, um, most of the times when people get told to do, you know, they're, they're doing exercise, they, they use the back of a chair, and, and, back, and chairs move, <laughs> chairs, you know, or tables again, which, which aren't there isn't anything so if you if you feel faint or you feel there's no balance you're going to fall over anyway so what we was we were doing is is looking at uh band exercises which we can use on the rail and again um exercises for for strength and conditioning um where you can hold on to the rail put a chair you know have a chair in place and have, hold on to the rail and pull yourself up pull yourself down you know um, as as my mother-in-law had said, it, it'd make a great um, ballet bar, and you know, the worst <laughs> scenario, that, yes. <laughs> it's, somewhere, it's somewhere where we can put the tea towel. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was just thinking the ballet bar for, for, for the grandkids going around. That'd be perfect, wouldn't it? 
So um, are, are there other kind of products that um, will kind of on, follow on the back of this, Steve, or are you kind of concentrate on, on grab rail for the moment? Well, I'm concentrating on the, on the grab rail for the moment. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, taken, it's taken a couple of years just to, to, to with, with COVID and, and that, just yeah. to get to where we are now. Uh, I do have my little award that I received uh, a few weeks back behind me, which is taking pride of place while, while my wife isn't here. <laughs> Um, but um, we you know, it's it's looking to um, to to take the rail further. Um, we have got pro proof of concept with a few ideas. Again, that will uh, enhance uh, that the actual use of the grab rail. Yep. Um, and uh, we're working again with uh, Aston University this time, and a part of uh, University of Birmingham. Uh, of their technical side with that which is which is quite good so that that again we should should be changing and or coming out in the next few weeks okay well it sounds like some exciting um exciting stuff to come steve so thank you for joining us down